everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Hana Dash Films, the place you come to learn about photography and all things RC. I'm your host, Taylor Tomala, and today I have a very special video for you. Today is going to be my first ever TRX4 how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put overdrive in the front of your truck, making your front end spin faster than your rear end, giving you that much more traction and control of your vehicle, and also increasing your steering radius as well. Alright, so step one to doing this is to remove your front tires. And you can use that if you have the Traxxas Master Set, you can use the Traxxas 7mm head to do that. Okay, so with the tires off your car, now all you need to do is to remove the top screw here and the bottom screw here that's holding on your portal hold axles. Now removing the bottom screw here, make sure that you don't lose the piece that pops out at the bottom of it. When you remove it, a small, small cylinder piece will actually come out with it. Once you have this screw here, this screw removed here, this should just come loose here, just like that. And that should pull the drive line out of the out of the here, so that releasing it from the differential. So all right, let's work on the other side now, removing the top screw. Make sure we're removing that screw, you don't lose that little piece. It slides out with it. Now, when you got that loosened up there, pull it away from the drive line, that's all you have to do. Okay, so your next step is to flip your car over and get it into a good position where you can see the, the drive line for the front. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna remove the screw, the grub screw that attaches itself to the shaft that goes to the differential. And that's held on by a 1.5 millimeter screw. So as soon as you get it loose, do not lose that screw. Make sure you put it over on the side. Remove the drive line. What you need to do now is with the car positioned upside down, you're facing the front end of the car here. And you need to take remove the four screws to hold on the differential. There's one there where, where it's right there. There's another one right there, another one right there, and another one right there. That's being using a 2.0 millimeter screw. Okay, so with all four screws removed, next thing to do is remove the diff cover, just like that. The axles pulled out here and pulled out here. You can actually pull this out of this thing here. But in order to do that, we have to, we have to unclip the, the docking diff piece right here so we can actually pull this piece out. Just like that. All right, so with your diff out, this uh, it's not that big of a deal. We have a bearing here on the side here. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna Clear off the table here, and we're gonna make yourself a nice little clean work environment to do the small work here. Now we have a clean workspace here. Well, all we're gonna need for this next step is a 1.5 tool and some Loctite. So we're gonna start by removing the four screws that hold on the gear. Okay, so all four screws are removed. Next part is to remove the bearing that's holding on the front. So we're going to take our new part here, part number 8287, right here, and we're going to install this on there. It's also a good thing to note here when you have the diff open here, to check your diff by, by grabbing the bottom of the thing and twisting it with your fingers and making sure that all the spider gears are moving and, and stuff. So with your new piece here, you can kind of see the difference here if we put them side by side here. But here's the overdrive gear and here's the stock Traxxas gear right here. So this one here goes in here and making sure that you put the, the gear, this gear right here in there and then put it in place. Okay, so we have the, with the new piece on our hand, let's, let's, ins let's install the new piece. Making sure that the gears facing the spider gears, not away from it. What I mean by that is this way here, right here, goes this direction on top it like that does not go like that so one way only and match up the holes now it's important you notice on the video I have Loctite it's important that you Loctite each screw and you only need to dab it Loctite on per screw you don't need to put a whole bunch on there so next step is this gear right here is inside this right here you're gonna pull the old gear out and then put the new one in. There you go, just like that. Okay, so you can kind of see the size difference here between the old one and the new one here. 
but we're gonna put the new one in here. So, all right, so with your fish differential, I'll put back together and that new gear put on and greased up. Let's put it back inside the car. Next thing you need to do, if you have the Defender, the Bronco, the Blazer, any of that that comes with the locking diffs, rear diffs and locking front diffs, you need to make sure you put this plastic piece back on there, nice and snug in between the little loop right there. So now the differential is put in, into place. Next thing you need to do, let's put on our diff cover here. Okay, with the differential uh, cover on, all I gotta do is put on the four screws that hold it back on in place. Right there, right there, right there, and right there. All right, so with the diff cover on the front here, the next thing you need to do is actually line up the, the drive line here with the inner gear, uh, the shaft the shaft gear here, and we're gonna line that up with the grub screw and screw our drive line back into place. So my suggestion is just get close, use the light as possible to see the light through, shine through it, but it should be pretty easy to, to do once you get in there and lock down. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna be taking your portal housing here and you're gonna be taking the drive the drive line that's inside of it and you're gonna be pushing it back into place and we're gonna be putting the two screws in here and here. Now remember at the very bottom of here, the this is the car flipped over, of course. The very bottom here, we had those little cylinder pieces that slide in there in place to hold it in place while the screw holds it in place. So don't forget to put those in as well. Just like that. Now it's ready to be locked down. So my suggestion would be start out with the bottom screws first putting those, little, those solder pieces in there first, not losing them. Okay, so with both sides securely fastened on both sides there, we're gonna flip our car over here. And the last thing we need to do with the car itself is actually put the tires back on, and that's it. So using your seven millimeter wrench, you can get in your Traxxas tool set, master set, you can use that to put on your tires. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plug our battery in, making sure our transmitter is on. Turn the car on. Make sure your car is up on off its wheels like it is now. Okay, now it's turn servo work. Good. Make sure the body's off. And you can see the front tire is being a lot faster than the rear. So there you go. Overdrive is now installed in the car. Put the body back on, make it look pretty. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch it. I do really do appreciate it. Please do subscribe to my channel and do check out my Patreon as well. There's come to Patreon and help out the channel even more than you are now. So make sure you hit that like button as well and hit that subscribe button again I know I'm plugging it twice, but hey, gotta subscribe. So have a great day. Have fun bashing and crashing.